guys okay so today i have another video from from the series <laughs> well series it's not really a series but you may have seen my previous video where i compared the starry night by van gogh uh, from diamond art club and diamond dots well today i'm doing something similar uh, because as you know i'm van gogh crazy um, well, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> then apologies, I should have said that earlier. My name is Natalia, welcome to my channel, it's lovely to see you. And um, today I will be doing another comparison of uh, Van Gogh paintings by two different companies. Uh, so I will be, well, it's just a comparison of unboxing, so I haven't worked on these paintings yet, so it's just an unboxing, but it's comparing the Diamond Art Club Café Terrace at Night and uh, the same painting, uh, Interpretation by Diamond Dots. So the painting was originally painted by Van Gogh, um, and um, again, I should have checked uh, when that was painted. It will be end of 19th century, and I will put an, an, exact, um, an exact year on the screen for you so that you can uh, know when this was originally painted. Uh, so of course this is part of public domain and uh, now this image and it can be um, you know used as diamond painting freely uh, by all companies. Uh, so Van Gogh diamond paintings have been very popular and I have been, uh, because I'm a fan of Van Gogh art, I have been exploring different diamond paintings produced by different companies and today I will be comparing these two paintings for you. So um, as so, well, last time I think I started with Diamond Art Club and I think I'll do a similar thing today. Uh, and especially I wanted to record this video now and, and post it now uh, because actually I just found out that uh, Diamond Art Club is now dis discontinuing this kit. Uh, so this is probably the last few days that you, that you can get this kit. Um, it's still available on Diamond Art Club website. I will link it below and it's uh, available at discounted price at the moment. At the moment uh, you can find it under the discontinued tab uh, so if you'd like this painting uh, then definitely hop over to them on art club website and get it right now because you may not be able to get it later so today I will just unbox it for you just to show it what it, show you what it looks like and then I will compare it to the painting by Diamond Dots and, and we'll just see how many colors there are and, and any similarities or differences between the two canvases Okay, so the first thing that you may see um, is the big square here and the, the blue square with the blue line around the box. Uh, all Diamond Art Club uh, paintings that have this blue square, they are square drills. Um, if it would be a round drill kit, then you would have a circle here and it would be, I think, have pink, pink color. Um, you also can see an image, uh, so this is what the painting looks like, this is the, I think this is the original painting, um, so the title is Café Terrace at Night by Vincent van Gogh, and we can see here also that they say diamond shape is square and they give us dimension which is 42 by 56 centimeters. Um, so all Diamond Art Club um, uh, kits come packaged uh, with this plastic wrapping around it, so I'm just going to take it off right now. Okay, so I've taken the plastic off and now let's see what's inside the box. Uh, you have some discount codes as well on the side of the box. Uh, so there's lots of discounts for them on Art Club. Usually there's a discount on their website. Um, also, if you buy from them, they will send you emails with any offers as well. Um, okay, so that's what's inside the box. So we have our canvas and the drills are wrapped in this another layer of plastic. Uh, it is quite a lot of plastic, but at least it is very well protected. Uh, you can see the slogan here um, of Diamond Art Club, which is do what makes you sparkle. And then also you can see here a little sticker that you can stick on the on your box or you can also stick it in your like little notebook if you keep track of your diamond paintings. It just gives you some details about this painting. Uh, you can see the toolkit here, uh, so it's just a standard Diamond Art Club toolkit. I'm sure if you've, if you've had a diamond painting from them before you would have seen this one. Uh, we have one blue pen, we have tweezers because it's a square kit. Uh, we don't get to squeeze, we don't get <laughs> squeezers, <laughs> tweezers for kids that are round, so we only get tweezers for the kids that are square. Um, we also have a four placer, um, a, a single clear tray and also we get 
two pieces of wax and a squishy to put on your pen. Uh, so you, if you put on your pen, then you can hold your pen comfortably like this. And we get quite a lot of baggies, uh, so uh, some people work from baggies, um, so, so you can kit up your drills into baggies and put your symbols on the baggie and, walk, and work from the, um, from the little bags directly. Or you can just use them after you're done with your painting, you can use them for storing your leftover drills, which is what I normally do. Occasionally I would work from baggies, but it is not very fast and not very efficient in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze these things back in here just to get them out of the way. Uh, this wax is really nice. Um, it's, um, I think it's better than when you get the more transparent, kind of less, uh, less pink and more transparent wax. This one is better than that. It's a, it's a bit more intense pink. Um, so I don't know what's better about it, but it seems to be lasting longer. Okay, so let's have a look at the canvas. Um, I really love Diamond Art Club canvases, so I think they've changed something recently, but this one I actually bought, um, I don't know, was it maybe three months ago? Um, at the beginning of summer, so probably June. So this is still, I think, I want to say it's from the older canvases, but actually this is already a bit different. So Diamond Art Club canvases used to be very soft on the back and now they're still soft but not as soft as in the past. So it's not, they're not any more velvety which is a bit of a shame because I really really love the velvety feel of the back but it's not very important for diamond painting. Um, you know it's just on the back of your canvas so so you know and I understand that you know maybe it wasn't very very useful, very very economical for them to make canvases of that material uh, and this one I'm sure is fine just as well, it's just not as soft as it used to be. Okay, so let's unroll it. Now I should have thought this through, I just realized that my camera is at the wrong angle because this is actually, um, usually my paintings are horizontal like this, <laughs> but this, this painting is actually vertical, so I'm going to have to try and figure out a way to show you this painting. So if you give me a second, uh, well, <laughs> you give me a second, I will basically edit this video and I will now try and turn my canvas in a way, or turn my camera in a way that you can see the canvas clearly. Welcome back guys. So I've changed location a little bit because I realized my other table is not very good for filming this video because of, of the because of this canvas going in that direction rather than this direction. So now on a different table, apologies for the glare, but I'm going to uh, try and show you the canvas in as much detail as I can. Um, I'll just change angles and I may add a little video, a little tour of the canvas as well to help you see the details just in case the glare is, is um, you know, getting in the way. Um, but now hopefully you can see most of the painting as it is. Uh, so it is, as I said earlier, 42 by 56 centimeters. Uh, so here at the bottom of the canvas, you can see some information. Uh, and so, as I said earlier, it is a square painting. And here on the side, we can see, so we have a legend on each side of the canvas, one at the bottom right and one at the top left of the canvas. And here on the legend, we can see that we have 41 colors, which is quite a lot for the size of canvas, I think. Okay, uh, we'll have a closer look at the canvas in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to show you. So normally Diamond Art Club kits come with this legend. Let me see if I can get some light. Um, just because it's a little bit dark today. Okay, so this hopefully should be a little bit better. Okay, so we have, as I said, 41 colors, and here you can see the symbols. Um, they should hopefully be very nice and clear to read. There are some darker ones, um, but uh, hopefully they should be clear on the canvas itself. I find with Diamond Art Club, sometimes the symbols on the legend are less clear than actually on the canvas, but we'll have a look in a minute. Here again, you can see the, the original artwork. Uh, and you can use, this is also a sticker, so, so you can use these stickers to put on your containers or your baggies when you work, when you kit up, and then when you work on your painting. And then you can also cut this out um, and write the start date and end date in case if you're keeping track of these things. 
you also have the number of this painting and then on your drills you should have the same number uh, so if we compare these two numbers they should be the same and you also have the title of the painting on the drills they also give you a little instruction sheet with some information about diamond painting and also a little discount code code as well okay so let's have a look um at the symbols um so one thing that i wanted to check is whether we have any ab's in this painting uh, so in diamond art club all numbers below 150 uh, so in this case we have three numbers below 150 these all will be ab's so ab's in case if you're not familiar they're a slightly special type of drill which have a special coating on top um which is uh, which is called they're called aurora borealis um so like the northern lights uh, because they reflect light that the coating makes them reflect light in this kind of rainbowy lovely way and um, so we can have a look at the drills and the symbols on the canvas and see where these drills are going the special drills uh, so if i just open the drills how do they open <laughs> These are the drills for this canvas, and if we look for the AB drills... Oh, there's lots of lovely colors in here, no? Lots of beautiful colors. So this, I think, yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite color, actually. 995. I love that color. It's such a beautiful color of drills. I'm not sure if my camera is giving it justice today because of the, the lighting in the UK. We have a horrible, gloomy autumn day. Uh, so everything is, seems much darker than it actually is. But it's a beautiful color, 995. One of my favorites. And then we have some really lovely bright yellows and, and oranges and and greens and blues. I love the color palette of this painting. It's, it's beautiful. I love oranges. Uh, they're so lovely and bright. So I'll, I'll really enjoy working with these colors. Uh, but I'm still looking for ABs. Okay, so I found them. Um, so the first one that I found in Diamond Art Club, by the way, um, the drills are ordered by weight rather than by number. So that's why it can be quite frustrating to find the, the color that you're looking for. Uh, but generally, ABs tend to be, we get less of them than some of the other drills um, because they're special. So we get less of them a little bit. They're just usually scattered throughout the painting. Uh, so this is the first one. This is 129. So it's a kind of beige, creamy creamy color and hopefully you can see a bit of that extra sparkle on those drills so this this extra special coating that's reflecting light a bit more uh, so that's 129 then we have 138 which is also it's a beautiful I've had this AB before I think I've had it I don't know actually if it was in rounds or squares but it's a beautiful beautiful AB um, so you can see hopefully that sparkle on it uh, it's a beautiful shade of blue. And then we should have one more. One more. So we should have a green one. A green, I think. Which I can't see at the moment. I'm probably blind. So 129, 134 and 138. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's darker than I thought. I thought it would be a light green, but it's kind of a darker green. Again, I think my camera is cheating you a little bit, so it's probably a bit lighter than what you're seeing on the camera. Let me see if I can change some settings. Okay, I don't know if that's any better, but hopefully maybe now you can see the green a little bit better. Let's see, let's see. And if I go back to the earlier ones, I've lost them now. That's the 129 that I was showing you earlier. And that's the 138. Just in case this lighting is better. Okay. So we've seen the colors now. And again, I'm not going to show you every single color, but you've got a list of colors here in case if you're interested which colors are in this painting. Uh, but I don't go through every single color. Um, I just find it a little boring. Okay, so hopefully you can see the painting now, the whole thing. Um, so I was just going to have a look at the clarity of symbols on the canvas. 
Uh, so we can have a look down here. So there's a lot of confetti down here, especially in this. Um, so this is like a pavement uh, leading to the cafe, like this, this kind of stone pavement. And you can hopefully see that, you know, <laughs> that even though like there's a lot of confetti, a lot of confetti here, um, kind of line confetti. So we have a few of each symbol, but they keep changing. So confetti is when we have a lot of color changes uh, versus color blocking when we have a lot of one color, but I'm not sure if we have any, well, we have a bit of color blocking here. Yeah, on the, so that's probably gonna be black. So a bit of, quite a bit of black in this painting actually. Um, so just looking back, uh, hopefully you can see that the clarity of symbol is very good. Uh, so you should be able to hopefully distinguish all those symbols, even through the camera, even from far away. Um, I can see them all very, very clearly. I can't imagine struggling with any of these symbols, but I don't normally ever struggle with Diamond Art Club symbols. So hopefully this shows you the whole canvas in a bit more detail. Okay. Yeah, so we see there's a lot of lovely orange and, and yellow and red as well. Well, I'm not sure if it's red. I think there's one red in there. And then um, there's some greens as well and quite a lot of blue. So we have this like starry sky, which is, you know, similar to the starry night a little bit from Van Gogh. Okay, so that's this painting. Oh yeah, where do ABs, uh, where, where are the ABs going? Uh, let's have a look. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place, um, but that's what else, what else is new, really. <laughs> I'm always all over the, the place. I'm just back from holiday, so I'm just getting back into it. Um, but hopefully this makes some sense to you guys. So we have um, number one is that beige AB, right? Remember that first beige creamy AB? That goes through, it's kind of scattered through this pavement here. Um, then... There, is, there are some here as well, so it's kind of scattered throughout the painting, I think. Um, there's some up here as well in the... Well, it's not a roof, it's the wall, isn't it? Up here in the wall, above the door of the cafe. And the other two colours, so the, the green one, the green AB, that goes here, actually, you can see in the shade here behind the tables, also in the shade here on the side of the cafe, as well as in some of people here on the street and that window here or, or the door, well, window and, and um, what, what do you call this? Like the things that you use to cover the window. Uh, <laughs> the shut the shutter, I don't know. I think it's the shutter. Yes, yeah, so you saw in there as well. And there are some also scattered here underneath, so on the pavement. Uh, so there's quite a bit of these uh, green, green ABs. Um, and then I'm looking also for the third one. So usually they give numbers to ABs, but this one is unusual. It has a symbol, which is not a number. It's this, um, I don't know what this is actually, but is that blue? That one here. So 138. Um, I'm just looking for the symbol now. So it's as, as, as to be expected, uh, you can see, come on camera, you can see some of it in the sky. So all these like light lines, these are all ABs. Um, that's, I think that's the main part. I'm just looking if there's anywhere else. Now I think maybe it's just in the sky because I can't see it in the ground at all. I can't see it there. I can't see it on the side. So I think they're just in the sky. I may be missing some, uh, but I can only see it really in the sky. Uh, so the blue will be in the sky mostly. Okay, so that's Diamond Art Club. And now I wanted to show you the Diamond Dots version of the same painting. So as I said, if you like this painting, if you like this interpretation of it, then go ahead and, and buy one right now because I think it will not be available for much longer. Um, and now I will show you the Diamond Dots version, which is still available in stores. And that one, you have a bit more time <laughs> to think about it. Um, so let me just get this out of the way. Okay, so here we have the Diamond Dots box. Uh, so you can see the, the preview of the painting already on the box itself. 
Um, and uh, there is some information on the box as well about the size of the painting. So this one is, oh, I, my camera is not focusing. Sorry, guys. It's being annoying. <laughs> well, I will just read it to you. If it doesn't want to focus, I'll tell you what's on here. Uh, so it's 42 by 52 centimeters design size and the fabric size is 49.5 by 60 centimeters. So diamond dots always give you both the design size, which is the diamond painted area, and then the size of the actual fabric. Um, I'm not really sure how useful that is, but it's just in case if you're ever interested. It tells you on this side as well that the number of colors is 31. So that's compared, why is it not focusing, honestly? Oh, there we go. 31 colors and uh, total number of jewels, you can see here, <laughs> it's large. Uh, but compared to Diamond Art Club, if we, let me just grab the Diamond Art Club one again. So we had 41 colors and the dimensions were very similar. So here we have 42 by 52. Uh, on the diamond dots and on the diamond art club we have 42 by 56 so the size of the canvas itself is very similar i'll put this aside for for the minute i'll bring it back in a minute um yes but the number of colors is larger in diamond art club than in diamond dots interestingly and diamond dots version is round drills um if i ever open it Okay, guys, I had to grab a pair of, of scissors because um, I couldn't open the box. There was a bit of tape on here, but I've got it now. It's all opened. Maybe I should have gone from the other side. Maybe you should open it from the top, but never mind now. I've opened it from the bottom. So let's just see what's inside the box. I think that's everything. Okay. So, similar story. The canvas... Uh, comes wrapped up in this plastic bag and we have now diamond dots slogan which is add some sparkle to your world and uh, separately from the canvas we also have a pack of drills which also have the number of the painting and uh, the title of the painting which is cafe at night van gogh okay uh, so let's get to it let's see the canvas So the fabric is, um, in my opinion, is much more sturdy, but also much tougher. It's not soft on the back at all. It's not soft on the back. Um, the plastic, for some reason, seems to be going all the way outside of the canvas, which is a bit worrying. I don't, I've never seen anything like this. The plastic going all the way outside of the canvas. So I bought this canvas on Hobbycraft. So I live in the UK, just in case you didn't know that. And there was a discount on Hobbycraft, uh, so it costed £30, which is similar to what I paid for the Diamond Dots, uh, oh, sorry, the Diamond Art Club. So they were similar price um, with the shipping. Diamond Art Club is probably similar price to this. Uh, however, now you can get the Diamond Art Club slightly discounted from their website. Okay, so what I'm not liking straight away is look at my canvas. It's been folded incorrectly, uh, so I have this big crease going on the top. Fortunately, um, both the Diamond Dots and Diamond Art Club use poured glue and with poured glue things like this generally are not a big issue because you can generally flatten the canvas out if you put it under something heavy or just even working on it over time, it generally tends to flatten up. But I'm not liking this back here. There's a big crease in my canvas here. It's a very big crease. I'm just going to just see if I can flatten it a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. I think the plastic was a bit misaligned on here. Um, so that also didn't help with the crease. Um, but I think, well, you can see there's another, like, it's like a slight bubble kind of thing. I think if I try and lift up a bit of plastic and then put it back on, like, Keep the, keep the canvas as flat as possible and put the plastic back and then hopefully it will flatten out. I'm not very happy with how with the condition of this canvas. Um, it's definitely, maybe it's been lying for a long time, I don't know, in some storage and it's gone a bit wonky, I don't know. Um, the plastic, I don't know what happened with the plastic, it's way too big for the canvas, so it's going outside of the canvas itself so i'm just going to try and lift it up a bit 
Yeah. So I'm going to lift up half of it and then try and put it back on. And then see. See if it helps at all. So I've tried playing a little bit with the plastic cover and also rolling the canvas backwards a bit and it seems flatter now to me and like it's lying flat. Um, the plastic is not perfect uh, but I'm not too worried about that because um, that doesn't generally affect the canvas in my experience, that's, that's fine. Um, it's more this bit here will need to still flatten out but I think this will flatten by itself even uh, or I can put something heavy on top and that should be absolutely fine. So not as happy with, with the state of the canvas, uh, it's not as good as it was with the Diamond Art Club. Um, I'm not sure what is the deal with the plastic being so big. Um, it's also, it's, um, it feels much more flimsy than the Diamond Art Club plastic cover. So I'm not a big fan of the Diamond Dots plastic cover. Okay, but this is what the canvas looks like. Now let's see. So I said earlier that we have 31 colors. Again, similar to Diamond Art Club, we have a legend on each side of the painting. Um, and then uh, what else? Well, here at the bottom, you can see the number of the painting, the title of the painting and the dimensions. Okay. We also have this very big instruction sheet, which comes in many languages. So, so you can read it in your own language. Um, I'm not sure how useful that is, but I think a lot of people start with diamond dots as their first uh, diamond painting uh, kit. So maybe that's helpful then to, to have for beginners. And then we have the drills, so let's have a look. So the toolkit for diamond dots comes inside the drills as well. Okay, so the toolkit, first of all, we have, well, we can see everything. Uh, so we have some baggies. I don't think that there are as many as in Diamond Art Club, but we also have less colors, but I think they just give us a few baggies. Uh, whilst with Diamond Art Club, we had lots. Okay, so maybe, maybe there's like 10 baggies. We have a pen. Again with a squishy, just this time it's a purple squishy. And this time the wax comes in a caddy, kind of in this little container. Um, I think it's also a good quality wax, but I'm not sure if I've actually worked with this specific wax, but it looks like it's uh, also a dark type of wax. And it's got Diamond Dots logo on it. And Diamond Dots kits come with the gray tray. Uh, so I think that's the only company that does gr gray trays, so you can recognize them by that. And straight away from my drills, um, this popped out. Uh, so just randomly, I noticed that this is an AB. So for so that's a difference from the Starry Night because in Starry Night uh, I didn't have any ABs for the Diamond Dots painting, but here we have ABs. Uh, straight away we can see that. Uh, we'll see if there are any more in a minute. Uh, but um, and Diamond Dots. Uh, ABs also have a different number to other drills, um, so diamond dots don't use DMC codes. So most of the diamond painting companies use DMC codes, diamond dots don't use DMC codes, they use their own codes. So this number here is unique to diamond dots, no other company will be using this number. And they use numbers beginning with a 5, so I think it's 5000 something, uh, to indicate AB drills, whilst the other colors are generally 8,000 something. Okay, there is no separate legend um, for Diamond Dots painting, so we don't have a separate sheet with a legend or with stickers to put on your containers, which is also a bit, you know, I would prefer if they came with the sticker sheet, that would be nice for kitting up. Um, but unfortunately, they don't come with stickers at the moment. Uh, so we don't have a separate legend, we only have this one here on the side, so you can see the symbols here. And I can't really see any other symbols with number beginning with a five. So I'm guessing that's the only AB that we have. And that's the one here at the end with the, the minus sign. So straight away what I can see is, let's have a look at the clarity of the symbols. And 
it's so much more blurry than the Diamond Art Club printing was. So even though I can see when I look closely what the symbols are, they're actually quite hard to read. Um, so even just the borders of each square, they're not very well defined, right? It's, it's all very kind of much more blurry, the printing. And the symbols, especially here again, we have lots of confetti, similar as in Diamond Art Club. But here, this will be much more struggle to distinguish those symbols from one another. I can already see that this will not be easy to work on uh, because we have so many blurry symbols and so many color changes. Uh, it will probably be a bit easier where there are, where there's a color blocking. So we have some color blocking here, but even here, let me just turn the canvas a little bit. We look at these dark, dark areas. They're much more blurry than in Diamond Art Club. So that's something that I can see straight away that that can be an issue. Uh, so unfortunately, Diamond Dots at the moment is not doing as well as Diamond Art Club because we have issue with the canvas itself a little bit with how it came and with the plastic cover. Uh, but also, in my opinion, the, the symbol clarity is much worse on this canvas. Um, but well, we have ABs in both of the paintings and in this case, we have a yellow AB. Uh, we can have a look where this one goes. So that minus sign, that minus sign. So we have some of it in the bottom, just, just um, a couple here, a couple here. Um, there's, there's a line of them here. Yeah, and uh, they, they seem to be a few, a few every now and then. So kind of scattered throughout the, the bottom of the painting. And then there's lots of them here in the wall of the painting here, lots of them. So, so that's where the ABs are going. So we only have one, well, there are also some in the stars here. So we also have ABs in the stars and along the line here of the roof. So we only have one AB, this time is a yellow. So we didn't have a bright yellow AB in Diamond Art Club, but we had a green and a blue and a beige one. Uh, so looking at the color palette for this painting, we can see that it is different, definitely different. So straight away I see more reds, definitely more reds and more yellows. In Diamond Art Club we had some oranges and some yellows and we had one red. Um, but here we have much more also this kind of brownish as well. We didn't have that much brown, light brown in Diamond Art Club. So it's definitely different color palette to Diamond Art Club. If I, let me see, so these were the Diamond Art Club drills. So you can see in Diamond Art Club, we had this bright orange, one yellow, which is kind of similar to this one. No. And we had, we had some browns. There are some browns, but not as much as in this one. We also had some bright yellow, very, uh, sorry, bright green, very similar, very similar bright green to Diamond Dot. And some, obviously some blues. And here again, we have blues in this painting. Um, the different shades of blue. So the blues in here seem a bit more muted, um, maybe less, a bit less, um, I don't know, in your face. <laughs> then in the Diamond Art Club, we had these bright, um, bright blue 995. And um, we also had this very bright indigo kind of blue, which is 820. And here we see the kind of more muted blues overall. So there are similarities in the color palette. There are definitely similarities. Uh, but the, there are also quite a few differences uh, in terms of uh, maybe the the level of colors, the, the, the brightness of the colors. I think there will be differences there. So I'd be really interested to see these two paintings once I'm finished, uh, how they compare in terms of the brightness and the contrast of the colors. Um, so because th there are so many similarities, but then I, th I think they will be still quite different from each other. Okay, 
So finally, <laughs> finally, finally, I wanted to put these two canvases side by side. So I've made a big mess all around me, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so the two canvases side by side, let me just see if I can do this. Okay, what do you think guys? Let me know, let me know in your comments, what do you think, how these two canvases compare to each other? Um, so, I mean, they are in many ways similar. I don't think they are as different from each other as we saw in the case of Starry Night. But, again, in terms of, well, I think also the printing of the canvas doesn't help in this case, because this, in general, this looks much more blurry, whilst this one looks very crisp. Uh, but I think part of it is also the rendering. Uh, so I think maybe possibly Diamond Dots wasn't trying to make the the lines stand out as much as Diamond Art Club was. So when we look at these tables here, they are very, very clearly defined. Uh, whilst here, the colors of the tables are quite similar to the background. So I think they're blending with the background a little bit. Similar for the people, they don't seem to, to be standing out that much, at least on the print. That may be different once I put the drills on, they may stand out a bit more, the rendering may be a little bit different with the drills on, but at the moment it seems that the people are blending a little bit with the background, whilst in Diamond Art Club they are very clearly defined. Okay. Um, and there are differences in the colors, um, in how the colors are rendered. Uh, so what I was talking about with the blues being so much brighter in Diamond Art Club, I think we can see it in the printing of the canvas as well, where we have this much brighter blue in the sky versus the much darker blue of, of, the, of the Diamond Dot sky. And also we can see a similar here in the door, uh, but we can see that there are many more greens in the in the cafe here uh, of the Diamond Art Club, as well as on this side in the window. So if I show you the window here, the window, and here underneath the window we have these green patches, whilst there's basically no green here at all. Um, and then And then also here, this is interesting, let me see if I can zoom you in on this somehow. Uh, this may be difficult, but here's what the pavement looks like in Diamond Dots. Okay. Here's what it looks like in Diamond Art Club. You should hopefully be able to see the difference between these two. Um, so again, the colors are rendered very, very differently. Um, and this one is much more straight lines versus this one seems to be more curved shapes. So we have these black curves going through the pavement. So it seems that they use different methods to render the same, the same part of the painting, which is quite interesting. And I'll be really curious to see how they turn out in the end. Um, and yes, so we have all those greens on the cafe wall. Whilst here in Diamond Dots, we don't have any greens going on the cafe. Now I will put the, the the image, the actual the original painting here on the screen for you, just so that now you can have a look at that image, and decide for yourself which of the two paintings you prefer. As you know, it depends also what you prefer. Whether you prefer your diamond painting to be as true to the original as possible, and in this case, I will be curious to hear what's your opinion on which of the two painting is closer to the original. And then also, um, you know, some people may prefer actually the, the diamond painting to be different from the original painting, uh, to be an interpretation of the original painting. So even if the diamond painting is not true to the original image, you may still prefer it. Uh, so I'd be really curious to hear your opinion on what do you think is closer to the original and also which one do you prefer? Um, okay, so I think this is it. I'm sorry if this video is a bit long. I was a bit all over the place, but I hope that this is helpful in some way. 
Um, so once again, this one is only going to be available for a short time. Uh, was this one you can buy from Diamond Dots stores or any other stores that uh, sell Diamond Dots paintings. I will link both of them uh, underneath the video right there. And if you haven't seen my Starry Night video yet, uh, I invite you to watch that as well. I will link it up in the eye for you. And well, thank you so much for watching today, uh, for sticking with me. Uh, let me know your thoughts um, and I hope you have a very good day or a very good evening um, or whatever time it is where you are. Um, you know, <laughs> thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!